All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who grew well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. Right. And citation to the Akim out there pushing this truth of sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life for, for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's sake. We're the brothers from GMS Miami. I'm Brother Samak. I'm your brother Zakaria. Yeah, and today we're just going to go into. All right, prophecy, and uh, this is the will of the Lord, okay? Because um, the, the Lord is um, making things happen so that prophecy is fulfilled. That's right. All right, and that's why you see famines, you see pestilence, you see earthquakes in diverse places, you see wildfires in diverse places, okay? You're seeing wars and rumors of wars, okay, in various uh, locations because, hey, this is the will of the Lord, and right. he set up his prophets, all right, to warn our people all right, to tell them to repent, all right, and to show that, hey, his words are faithful and true. So it's time to repent. It's time to hear the, all right, the, 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 the words of the Lord. It's time to hear his servants, the prophets, who are this, uh, speaking on behalf of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. And again, we're just coming out of, out of the Bible. We're not, this is not our opinion. All right, so let's get 2nd Edges chapter God. 15, verse 1. God, this is the book of 2nd Edges chapter 15 and verse 1, and it says, it reads, Behold, Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, mm -hmm. which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Again, he said he will put in thy mouth. All right? He will put in thy mouth. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, if you want to get... Uh, uh, you know what? Get get Hosea chapter 6 and the 5th verse, because it, it gets straight to the point. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Hosea chapter 6 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. It says, Therefore have I hewn them... So like it says, therefore have I hewn them by the prophets. Mm -hmm. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. Right. So what the prophet is, is set up to do is to tell you, all right, the Lord's judgment. Yep. All right. And, and bring out, all right, the scriptures like famine, pestilence. Okay. Like, hey, this is going to, okay, uh, affect, okay, those that are walking contrary, all right, to the... Uh, to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, the, the, these are going to affect those that are being wicked and evil, all right, and being a, a, a total demon, all right. These famines, these pestilence, these wildfires, okay, these wars, mm -hmm. all right. And if you're not obeying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to get caught out there. That's right. That's what the prophets are set up to do, mm -hmm. okay. I got a precept. Mm -hmm. This is book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet. And I will speak unto thee. All right, so the Lord talking to Ezekiel, but in these times, the Lord's talking to us. You know, started with our apostle that was a great millstone. The Lord told us to uh, stand up on our feet and go teach the, the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, it says, that's why you got to go out on the highways, byways, and teach us. That's your lot, man. Mm -hmm. And do these sit downs. Yep. Verse 2, it says, and the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. And I heard him that spake unto me. Verse 3, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee. To the children of Israel, mm -hmm. to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. So mm -hmm. the Lord tell us to tell our people, which we we tell our people, and we tell the nation their judgment, man. Yep. Verse four says, "For they are imputed children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear." For they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So these our people gonna know there's a prophet among them, and you nations gonna know that we that we spoke of this judgment, man. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's why in Jeremiah you can get it. Just get to the God, point. In yeah. uh, chapter one, um, in chapter one, it's we're above all right these nations. Yep. We're above these kings, all right, because the Lord set us up, all right, to, to tell you His will, what He's going to do, all right. So all this election shit. All these protestings, trying to fix the problem. Hey, if it's not according to the will of the Lord, there is no fixing it. You're right. Okay? You got it? Uh, I'll just read fast. Yeah. This is Jeremiah 1 and verse 4. It says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, it's like, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Mm -hmm. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Right. So uh, from the beginning, the Lord already had set up who he wants to be a prophet. Okay, that's why we we know this is not the will of man. You know, we didn't know we were going to be prophets. Right. 
all right? But the Lord put the Spirit on us to be prophets right. and to teach, you know? Uh, we've been in this now for 10 years, right. okay? Teaching, okay, and prophesying on the highways and byways, all right? Mm -hmm. Put up, okay, these videos, all right, to bring out the, the, the words of the Lord, all right? The prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Okay, so this is not of man. This is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the point. You got it. Yep. Uh, Jeremiah 1 and verse um, 6 says, Then said I, Ah, Lord, power, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Verse 7. Mm, that's it. Yeah. Keep going. Verse 7, Keep it going. says, But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, mm -hmm. for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, mm -hmm. and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Right, that's why we don't have a teleprompter. We don't have a paper and reading it off and looking yeah. at the screen and looking down at the paper. All right. It's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's putting the, the Rakah Kodash. All right. The, the spirit holy on us. All right. To preach his word. Yep. Okay. And, and that's why it's so beautiful and so organic and it's so raw because, hey, you can't, you can't copy this. Yeah. All right. This is straight raw and uncut, man. Right. Right. Okay. It flows. It flows, exactly. This is Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. That's another thing. We're not scared of y'all. Okay? Right. We are not intimidated by y'all. Okay? We don't give a damn what you say about us. Okay? Uh, behind our backs or on the comment board. Especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Yeah. I'm just going to be blunt. All right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, the bulk of y'all are just a bunch of idiots, yeah. morons. You don't know what the hell is going on, Through. all right? You've been miseducated. You've been misinformed, all right? You've been led by, okay, wicked, all right, sell-out jakes, all right, who have corrupted your minds, yeah. all right? Me, personally, whenever I see a, a bugged-out jake try to, you know, make a comment on my video, I just delete it because <laughs> you're, you are, to me, you're, you're a fucking idiot. Like, you don't... Through. You don't move me. Like, what you say is nonsense, okay? The bulk of y'all barely know how to read, barely know how to write, all right? And and again, this was all designed, yeah. all right? That's why we, we our people sit in, in poverty. Our people are, are uh, unhealthy. That's yeah. another thing, okay? A lot of our people that are running their mouth, all right? You're, you're, you're fucking uh, uh, a diabetes away, all right, from fucking putting a needle in you, okay? Mm -hmm. Or, or you're one heart heart attack away because right. y'all eat unhealthy, okay? You poison yourself with all these fucking foods yep. that are not giving you no nutrition, yeah. yet you have something to say about what we got to say. It's crazy. That's yeah. why, again, you know, for you Jakes, for me, I you don't move me. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you got to say, right? You got yeah, it. Jake done. We done with Jake. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jeremiah 1 in verse... Um, Eight again says, "Be not afraid of their faces, for mm -hmm. I am with thee to deliver thee." Said the Lord, "Power." Right, and that's the, that's that's the point. We know the Lord's dealing with us. We know the Lord's gonna get us up out of any situation. Yep. We believe that, and we have testimonies on that. Mm -hmm. You got it. Verse nine it says, "Then the Lord put forth His hand and touched my mouth, and the and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth." Verse 10, see, I have this day set thee over the nations mm. and over the kingdoms. Oh, the na over the nations, over the kingdoms. Mm -hmm. That's what a that's who a, who a, 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 a man of the Lord is set up to be over the nations and over the kingdoms. Okay? That's through the spare and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. So we're over the presidents, we're over the generals, we're over the international bankers, mm -hmm. we're over the Illuminati, all Yah. Right. Okay? Because we're the mouthpiece mouth of the Lord, man. Right. And we're going to tell you this is the way things are going on planet Earth according to the will of the Lord. You, you international bankers that are controlling like the famine and, uh, you know, the heart technology, you're just doing the bidding of the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right. So that particular prophecies can be moved forward. All right. Like the economy. That's another thing. The economy crashing. All right. Yeah. You're right. You're the, you're physically pressing the button to crash it, but the Lord's putting the spirit on you to crash it so that particular prophecy can be fulfilled. So you're just a patsy in the Lord's movie. Yep. All right. You're just a, a peon, man. You're just being used, man. And then when the Lord's done using you, he's going to move you out the way. Yeah. Okay. Because, all right, we're over y'all, man. Yep. All right. Yahweh is 
to over y'all, man. Yep. Who the world any calls Jesus? When he comes back, it's over, man. Right. You get you international bangers, get ready to go into slavery, get ready to serve us in hardcore slavery, man. That's, right. That's what's coming. That's your future. Mm -hmm. All right, this whole fucking new world order shit. You ain't gonna accomplish it, man. Right. You got it. Yeah. And like you said, the prophets are over the top prophet is our Lord Yahweh Shah. <laughs> and then uh with 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 uh Samuel uh, Sammy, he he was he uh anointed King Saul, yep. he anointed David, mm -hmm. and they they had to go to acquire to him the word of the Lord. So mm -hmm. the the prophets are over the nations, man. Mm -hmm. all, all, uh, they're over the nations. They're over the kings, right? You know? That's right. It's uh, Jeremiah chapter one and verse ten again. It says, "See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pour down and to destroy and to throw down." To build and to plant. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. All right. By us preaching the words of the Lord. All right. Things are happening. Yep. All right. This kingdom is crumbling. Yep. All right. That's why you have, okay, uh, uh, protesting and famine and pestilence. All right. And, and wars and rumors of wars. All right. Because the Lord's using us to bring out his words and it's coming to pass. That's right. That's, 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 what the, that's why we're over the nations. We're over you kings. We're over you Illuminati weirdos and yep. freaks. Okay? Yep. All right? That's why we don't care what you have to say. All right? We don't give a damn. We're not, we're not, uh, well, let's go back to 2nd Edges 15. Yep. Okay, go on. 2nd Edges chapter 15, I'll read verse 1 again. It says, mm -hmm. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Got a precept. Uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 6. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. Right, the prophecies. Yep. And the Lord power, Yahweh of the holy prophets, sent his angels to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Mm -hmm. Okay? 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. All right? When you go to the word keepeth, okay, it's terio. Which means to attend to carefully. We're attending to carefully the prophecies. All right? Mm -hmm. So that we know where we're at. Okay? So that we don't get caught out there. Right. Okay? And those those uh, uh, men and women that are watching those prophecies, they're blessed. And they're going to be delivered. Yep. And, and, and that's what we're fighting for. All right? To be, put, to be on that chariot, man. Okay? And that's why we go out and we preach the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And we and we and we warn the whole world of what's to come. Right. You got it. And you measure the time. Yep. This is uh yeah. So the Lord's words are faithful and true. I got a preset to back that. Mm -hmm. It's Isaiah thirty four and verse sixteen says, "Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read." Scripture say, "Blessed is he that read." You got to seek seek out of the book of the Lord, the sixteen eleven King James mm -hmm. versions, which includes the Apocrypha, man, which we reading out of. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, no one of these shall fail. That's the point. No one of these, the prophecy is going to fail. They all going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, it says, and no, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate because you can't make the Bible in any book. It stands alone. Right. Major prophecy, RFID chip, yep. the market beast in your face. Yep. It's in your face. Elon Musk is, is, like, is the face of it. Yeah. And he now wants to uh, be part of Trump's cabinet. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Where's that leading to? Hmm. Yep. You know? But a prophet, he sees that. He's like, oh, yeah. They're getting ready for that chip. Yeah. Measuring okay? The time. Measuring the time. Yeah. You got it? It says, seek ye out of the book of Isaiah 34, 16. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Let's see that. Read it. You're not going to understand this if you if you don't read it. Yep. First, you need a teacher first. Right. You need a teacher to break it down. And then once you... You get the milk, then you start growing, and you read, and you understand it. The Lord right. sup with you. He'll give you the understanding. You man. need that rakah You right. need the comforter, man. Yeah. All right? Because, hey, we know a lot of you plantation Christians read the Bible, but you don't know what the hell you're reading. Yeah, you're done. You're just regurgitating what you read. But it's not digesting because the Lord ain't dealing you. He ain't gave you the rakah Yeah. He only gave it to his servants, the prophets, which are the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You got it. It says, Seek ye out a book of the Lord, and read, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit has gathered them. Mm -hmm. So we're being gathered by the spirit, man. Yep. By the word. Mm -hmm. You know? So back at second edges, second edges fifteen and verse two, it says, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yep. Fear not the imaginations against thee, 
Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. I had to come out again. We don't give a damn what you say about us. You don't move us, okay? We're not we not scared of y'all. All right, we know what we signed up for, man. Okay, we trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Let His will be done. That's All right. this other okay sh shit that you your threats and you know your bullshit comments they don't move us. Okay, right. we're, we're we are clearly brainwashed in this truth. Right. All right, for the for the for the brainwashed terminology, right. we're clearly in a cult. Which cult means to worship. We right. worship Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. That's why you got to get into words. So when people say you're in a cult. Do you know what the word cult means? Bleh, 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 bleh. Peanut butter. Because motherfuckers just hear words, yeah. all right? Cause, and it sounds nice, but they don't look it up. Right. That's why our apostles have always enforced us to look up words. All right? So we don't get intimidated. So when we hear a, a stupid motherfucker say something like that, we're like, yeah, whatever. Right. He doesn't probably even know what that word means. Real. Even with brainwash, the Lord, this word is the wash. The scripture saying by the washing of the word. <laughs> we, we, this word... Cleanse us. And right. We, we're washed from the filth of this world. Right, man. right, right. <laughs> this this word, okay, brainwashed us <laughs> in cleanliness, man. <laughs> All right? Our brains have been washed, man. And that's why we keep going to these words and keep cleaning our brains because all yeah. the fucking bullshit that's out there, man. All right? I got a precept. Yeah. Psalms 119 and 9 says, Where Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way mm -hmm. by taking heed thereto according to thy word? Read that slow. One more time. Uh, that was perfect. Yeah, Isaiah yeah. Uh, 119 and verse 9, it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. You say through this word we are clean. That's right. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah that, that was a good point you made. There you go. There you go. It's just, again, it's the spirit. Yeah. Uh, there was no teleprompter. There was no uh, paper. It's the Lord put the spirit on us, and, and we, that's how, we, you know, they, this is how it's 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 unfolding on the camera, man. Right. You know, you got it, brother. Yep. Second Edges fifteen and all, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Let's yep. give that one credit. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, because he right. gets the glory, he gets the fame, he gets the honor. Yep. Okay. Preeminent. Yep. Is that Second Edges fifteen and verse uh, three again? It says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee." Mm -hmm. Why? Verse four. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Yep, and we clearly see it. Good, a good article right here. All right, drive to eliminate global hunger by 2030 has stalled, according to the United Nations. They warn. Okay, and we know they're they're the one part of the uh, the famine. Yeah. But the point is, okay, a lot of y'all unfaithful unbelievers you're going to die in the famine because the UN can't stop it according to them if you trust in the UN well the UN just is saying they can't stop the famine right all right even though we know behind the scenes they're the one causing the famine all right yeah by you by you knowing that I just hit like by you knowing that they going they going to offer you with that that sea hip they going to say if you want to eat if you want to buy or sell yep Take it, but the script said, but they saying that's that there's gonna be a famine that they can't stop. So <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying. So so basically, <laughs> you might well just trust in the Lord. Right. <laughs> so they've been what? They've been caught in their uh, in derision. Yeah, having derision. They've been having derision because mm -hmm. you're still gonna starve when you t if you take that chip. Yeah, because you're not gonna eat. Yeah, that's the whole point that they're gonna use it. You you basically if you don't have it, you're gonna be out from society. Yeah. No, hey, you're still not gonna get the fried chicken, Jake. Yeah. No fucking. Fried chicken, no French fries, Bro. okay? No crab legs. You're still going to get shit, man. You're going to eat shit with the chip in your hand and then get hit with a fucking nuke. Bro, they probably just you idiot. chip you niggas up and just throw y'all in the fucking jail and let y'all eat each other. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cannibalism is coming back. That's how they're going to do y'all niggas, man. Yeah, we. hey, that's in the scriptures. Had in derision. Cannibalism is coming back in a big way. Cannibal well, I'm gonna say one more time. Cannibalism is coming back in a big way, man. All right. Right. Them curses in Deuteronomy 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. They they still apply to this very day. Yeah. Okay. That what happened over here in Venezuela? Yeah. yeah. It's about to get real, and you and you y'all Jake's is through. Can I continue? Yep. Second Ezra 15 and verse. For because y'all not trust the reason why you threw because y'all not trusting your how about Shemal Shai. That's right. Those who trust in the Lord is gonna be delivered, they're gonna be protected, man. The yep. true believers, the elect. Yep. 
is uh second Corinthians 15 and verse 4 it says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness verse 5 behold saith the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction there you go yep so that's the lord he's bringing it upon the world but the main calamity and the, and the main you know uh uh perilous times as should say perilous times is going to be here in america man because this place is like it shit is moving like nothing's going on right meanwhile all over the world is like wars and like people are catching hell pestilence yeah. famine uh you know civil unrest protesting you know economic uh turmoil well there's some economic issues here but yeah, it's yeah. not as bad as these other countries man yeah and, but it's gonna get bad. Wait till that collapse. Sweet late and fun. Yeah. That collapse. I'm waiting for it, man. I'm waiting for that economic collapse. Yep. And that's gonna humble a lot of you jakes, yep. man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay, and it's coming. Because they gotta use an excuse, okay, to change the systems. Get ready for a cyber attack. Yep. All right, Klaus Schwab. He's talking about it. They're talking about, okay, big cyber attacks. That's coming. Blackouts, All right. blackouts rolling blackouts. And again, a lot of y'all gonna starve. Not to mention, you got to worry about your neighbor, all right, who's starving too. Yeah. Who's coming in with the full four, kicking the door, right? Yeah. You know, Jake's into all the rapping, right? Yep. All right, wrap your way out of a fucking, okay, hungry man. Yeah. All right? A man and his dogs. Yeah, and his dogs. <laughs> like Ramsey on um, Game of Thrones. Yep, <laughs> Game of Thrones, the dogs. Yeah, them hungry ass dogs. Yeah, yeah. man. This is uh, second Ezra 15 and verse 5. It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And again, it's of the Lord. Yeah. And we hear the prophets are telling the world, this is the will of the Lord. Yep. Okay? He's the one bringing it. He gets the glory. He yeah. gets the honor. All right? Yep. I get that Isaiah. Isaiah uh, 45 verse 7 mm -hmm. says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. Boom. Man. So the Lord do all these things, man. Right. And this is why the Lord is bringing them. Second Ezra 15 and verse 6 says, For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's right. And that and that goes according to Isaiah uh, chapter 24, um, verse uh, 5. Let me get that real quickly. That's a great precept because... Um, the whole the, the whole earth is defiled from all because of all the wickedness, yeah. man. Uh, Isaiah chapter twenty four and five. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. That's right. So you see, that's why. All right, because people are moving in wickedness. They're totally disobeying the Lord. They're not following the law, statutes, and commandments. They're not okay. Uh, going according to what the scriptures say, all right, especially our people, mm -hmm. all right, and you were given the laws. That's why, okay, the Lord's gonna give you, hit you with pestilence, famine, okay, wars, okay, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, animals attacking you, all right, don't forget Leviathan, Bohemoth, right. okay, yeah, uh, apparitions, yeah, it's going down, man. Demons. Cannibalism, cannibalism, cannibalism is coming. In a big way, man. Yep. All right? And that's why we're here as the servants of the Lord to warn our people to get the blood off our hands. Yeah. All right? To tell you that this is the will of the Lord. This is where it's going. So all this voting bullshit, all this protesting about, you know, we got to change the government from within and all this other bullshit. All right? It, it, okay, that's all in vain. All right? The Lord is going to take this place out. Mm -hmm. Period. You, got, you, got you can read verse 6. Okay. Oh, yeah. Verse 6. Therefore, I have to curse devour the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left yeah because all because the earth is out of course that's what it looks about a brain famine you know, all these different judgment and also that fire mm -hmm. all right because the, the earth is uh it's giving it into the hand of the weak esau is ruling and the 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 strip say wickedness is sold in the earth man so that that wickedness got to be rooted up for righteousness to be uh to, to flourish, man, for the kingdom of heaven be, to be set up. So you niggas gotta burn. You gotta get burned because y'all wicked, y'all not turning to the Lord, man. Oh, that was it, bro. That was it. Yeah. So Lord Wellness Less is edifying. All right. Hey, it's coming. The judgments are coming. The will of the Lord, all right, is going to come to pass. All right. And we here as his prophets are here to warn, okay, and let you know his will. 
All right? Amen. Whether you like it or not. And with that, we want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kadosh. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who grew well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. And salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life for Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai's sake. Love you, brothers. Keep adoring, keep the faith, keep pushing, keep fighting, keep studying. Pray with our season. Pray for each other. Pray for the apostles and elders as they get up in age. To, uh, you know, pray for. For their longevity, pray for their health. Right. Uh, for the few sisters that are watching, keep studying. When you pray, pray with your head covered. Shalom. Shalom.